Hello, my name is Hannah, and today we're reading Animals in the Winter. This book is written by Henrietta Bancroft and Richard G. Van Gelder, and is illustrated by Helen K. Davey. Alright, here we go. <clears throat> the days grow short, the nights grow long. It is getting colder. Winter is coming. Leaves have fallen from the trees. There are no berries on the bushes. Insects are gone. The grass is dead and dying. Birds and other animals are getting ready for the winter. Some of the birds will fly south. Blue Bluebirds and Orioles go toward the south. They go where it is warm and sunny and where there's food for them to eat. When spring comes, the birds will make the long journey back north. They migrate. Some butterflies migrate too. That is where the monarch but that is what the monarch butterflies do. They gather in a tree by the hundreds before cold weather comes. They stay in the trees in the tree all night. In the morning they fly toward their winter homes in the south. Many bats fly south too, but some bats stay in the north all winter. When the weather gets cold, they go to a cave. There's no wind or snow in the cave. The bats sleep there all winter. They do not eat. They live on fat stored inside them. They do not move. They hardly breathe. They sleep, sleep, sleep. They hibernate. Woodchucks hibernate too. When fall comes, a woodchuck eats and eats and eats. He eats grass, twigs, and leaves. He grows fat. When it gets cold, the woodchuck crawls into his long tunnel and goes to sleep. In his tunnel, he has a secret entrance, a main entrance, with a mound that acts as a sun porch and a watchtower. The tunnel drops and narrows to keep out enemies. He has a toilet chamber and a sleeping chamber. Does he sleep for a day? Longer than that. Does he sleep for a week? Longer than that. A month? Even longer. A woodchuck can sleep as long as four months. The woodchuck seems hardly alive. He breathes very slowly. His heart beats slowly. He sleeps, sleeps, sleeps. He hibernates. Some animals do not have to hibernate. They gather food and save it for the winter. This is what a pika does. A pika looks a little like a rabbit, but with round ears. Pikas live in high mountains where winters are long and cold. They eat grass. In the summer, they cut more grass that they can eat. They spread the grass on flat stones. The hot sun dries it. By the end of the summer, a pika may have gathered 50 pounds of grass. She hides it under rocks. In winter, she eats the dry grass. It keeps her alive. Squirrels gather food too and save it for the winter. They dig holes in the ground. They bury hickory nuts and acorns. When winter comes, they dig them up and eat them. Sometimes squirrels forget where they buried the nuts. The trees may grow from nuts and that squirrels forget. Some animals do not get ready for winter at all. They do not store food. They do not hibernate. They do not migrate. They must hunt for food all winter long. There are mice that must hunt all winter for seeds of goldenrod, asters, and other wild plants. Sometimes they eat farmer's corn, oats, and wheat. Deer must dig in the snow for dried leaves, plants, and moss. When the snow is deep, they must eat the twigs, buds, and barks of trees. The rabbit must hunt under the snow for bits of grass and plants. When the snow is deep, he too eats the buds and barks of bushes so he can stay alive. In the winter, the fox hunts for mice and rabbits. This fox has discovered a mouse in its tunnel beneath the snow. When the winter is cold and the snow is deep, many animals cannot find fear. food. Here are some ways you can help animals in the winter. You can stick fruit and cheese pieces on a dead branch, hang a soot in a plastic net bag, Nail a seed tray with drainage holes to a fence pole. Make an apple, cranberry, and, ra and cranberry raisin and orange garland. You can nail a sunflower head to a, a post or a fence. 
make a peanut and popcorn garland. Please remember, once you begin feeding birds and other wild animals in the winter, you must continue. They are depending on the food supply. You could also hang an ear of corn for squirrels and chipmunks. Put a birdhouse in a tree or under the eaves of your house. Plant shrubs with berries for food and shelter. Or make sure feeders are placed out of reach of predators. Those are just some different ways you can help animals. Eventually, the days grow longer, the nights grow shorter, it begins to get warmer. Spring is coming. The end.